about to uh, about to go on and play Pyramid Stage at Glastonbury. Yikes. How are you feeling? Fucking nervous as shit. Fastest selling album in the UK, we beat Coldplay, which is nuts. Just did Pyramid Stage at Glastonbury, which is amazing. Loved it so much, got all the waving. Uh, I'm on cloud 10, Ben Cook's eating crisps. Ben Cook's sitting at home right now, wondering how he had the fastest selling record in the UK. Yeah. Trip! This is us, what's up? Oh, you're Oh, Teddy! You're terrible, Cause honey, your soul could never grow old, it's evergreen. If I was advising anyone to start songwriting, I'd just say write anything that comes into your head, anything. Just get stuff out there. I kind of treat songwriting as a like dirty tap in an old house. When you run a dirty tap, it's clogged up, bits of dirt in it, bits of mud. You run it, mud's going to come out, a little bit of water's going to come out, a bit more mud, and then suddenly it's going to start flowing clean water. You've got to unclog your pipes when you write a song, so just start writing bad songs. Just write songs for the sake of it. Write a song a day. Just sit down, pick a chord, write a song, get that song out of you. And the more and more you do it, the more more and more you unclog the pipes. Hoping that you'll understand the baby now. I'd say if you want to start songwriting, just start. Don't don't worry about too much about writing the best song possible. If anyone wants to listen to growth, go on YouTube, type in Ed Sheeran Addicted. You'll hear a song that I did when I was 12. Um, and the singing is dreadful, the songwriting is dreadful, the guitar playing is dreadful and now I'm here talking to you as a professional musician so 10 years of practice songwriting, playing more guitar, singing more, writing more songs, you unclog all the pipes and you get better and better and better so my advice is to just do it and don't think too much about it. Baby, we found love right so uh, I'm here in Tokyo, it is 6am, so we actually haven't been to bed, we, uh, it's just jet lagging it. Um, I'm playing a TV show this morning called Shiz Gabs, what, what, what's it called? Sakiri. Sakiri, um, which should be fun, so this is the uh, TV show. Edo she lam. I swear it feels like the last few nights we've been everywhere and back, but I just don't remember it all. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. <laughs> so we're in we're in Tokyo at Cat Cafe, which consists of cats and not actually a lot of cafes. Cats, come and come and meet them. <laughs> This is my mate, Jim. Going on? This this one's really unhappy. Having a bit of a sulk in the corner, aren't you? He doesn't want to play. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is the plan, right? Dogs are going to be here in a bit. Cat fight, scratch their eyes out. Don't fuck up there. Do you know what I mean? That's amazing! <laughs> Is it a money box? I'm gonna take this home. This is, the, this is the best gift that anyone's ever got. I'm just so excited for tonight. And um, I hope um, he's gonna sing Terror Pussy because 
it's uh, my favorite song. You look so wonderful in that dress. I loved your hair like that. And in the morning, I knew you best. So we just finished the show in Osaka. Um, possibly the most enthusiastic audience I've had. It was wonderful. I love Japan. They're wicked. I've got to turn the light off now. Bye. Trust Trev. We're in the furthest, furthest away from our culture we could be. And there's so many different things we could be doing right now. We could be going to eat katsu curry or sushi or squids with like sea eel or whatever and we're going to eat wings at Hooters. The impression of Tokyo is it's a very very crazy place. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Ooh. Food's good, people are nice, culture's great. They have a vending machines here where you can buy used underwear. So there's that as well. Last time I came to play in Tokyo it was very um very excitable, very very enthusiastic. But yesterday in Osaka when I told them to sing the sing, they sung the sing for half an hour and like as my sound people had packed up and they were just about to leave the venue they were still singing it so um yeah. i'm uh interested to see how long they sing it for tomorrow